Okay, now here we have a very nice conceptual question. Question is tangents PQ and PR are drawn from the point P on the directrix of the parabola. Uh, we have this parabola. Then find the least radius of the circumcircle of triangle PQR. We have uh, this equation of parabola. We take square root both sides. Equation becomes uh, x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 4 whole square is equal to is equal to modulus of 3x minus 4y minus 6 over 5. Okay. Now, focus of this uh, parabola is uh, uh, 3 comma minus 4. This is uh, uh, focus. Okay. And directrix of this parabola is equation of uh, directrix is 3x minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, let us do the diagram. Here we have parabola. Focus at point uh, 3 comma minus 4. And directrix uh, has equation 3x minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, point P lies on the directrix. From this point, we draw tangents to parabola. Tangents PQ and uh, PR. Okay. We have triangle. PQR, we have to find the uh, least radius of circumcircle of triangle PQR. Now, definitely this triangle uh, is a uh, right angle at point P, at vertex P, okay, because tangents uh, uh, will be perpendicular. Tangents are drawn from the directrix, so uh, tangents will be perpendicular, okay. So, triangle is right angle at point uh, P. So, for circumcircle of uh, triangle PQR, QR will be the diameter okay qr will be the diameter and qr is focal core tangents are drawn from a point on the directrix so chord of contact uh, will be uh, focal chord okay now we have to find the least radius of the circumcircle point p is variable it is moving on the directrix so, tangents PQ and PR are variable. So, triangle PQR is variable and hence its circumcircle is variable. We have to find least radius of this circumcircle. Now, for this circumcircle, uh, QR is diameter because angle uh, QPR is 90 degree. So, QR is diameter. Okay, What will be the least value of this diameter? QR is focal core. Then what will be the minimum length of uh, QR? Definitely minimum length will be the length of lattice rectum when uh, QR will be perpendicular to the axis of parabola. Okay. And uh, what will be lattice rectum of this parabola? How can you find lattice rectum? What is formula for lattice rectum? Formula is length of lattice rectum is equal to distance of two times distance of focus from the directrix. Okay. Lattice rectum length is 2 multiplied by distance of focus from the directrix. Okay. So, we will have 2 multiply by this is focus, this is the directrix. Distance of uh, this point from this line will be uh, 9 plus 16 minus 6 over 5. Okay. So, this is equal to this is uh, 19, 19 into 2, 38. So, let us set term length is 38 upon 5. This is the least radius of this circumcircle. Okay. Okay, now equation of tangent to parabola y square is equal to 4ax having slope m is y is equal to mx plus a upon m. Vertex of this parabola is uh, origin 0 comma 0. Okay, now if vertex of parabola is uh, point uh, x1 comma y1, if we shift this parabola uh, so that uh, vertex falls at point x1 comma y1, then equation of parabola will be we are here translating the curve. We are not rotating the curve. We are translating the curve. Equation of parabola will be y minus y1 whole square 
is equal to 4a multiplied by x minus x1 okay an equation of tangent to this parabola having slope m will be equation of tangent having slope m will be replace here y with y minus y1 and x with x minus x1 we get equation of tangent as y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1 plus a upon m okay let's have a question based on this concept Okay, now here we have a very interesting question. Question is tangents PQ and PR are drawn to parabolas. Y square is equal to 20 into x plus 5 and y square is equal to 60 into x plus 15 respectively such that angle RPQ is uh, pi by 2. Then find the locus of point P. From point P we are drawing uh, tangents to these two parabolas and these two tangents are perpendicular. This angle is pi by 2 so tangents will be perpendicular to two, uh, to two different parabolas okay in that case you have to find the locus of point p now on the plane there will be a uh, infinite number of points p okay through which tangents to these two parabolas will be perpendicular in that case we have to find the equation of locus of point p suppose uh, coordinates of point uh, uh, p are uh, h comma k okay now we can add equation of tangent to this parabola having slope m for y square is equal to 4 ax equation of tangent having slope m is y is equal to mx plus a upon m okay so for this parabola equation of tangent having slope m will be uh, y is equal to we have uh, y square so we will have y here is equal to m multiplied by here we will replace x with x plus 5 we have here x plus 5 so we write here x plus 5 okay so we have this plus a value of a is 5 so we have here 5 over m okay so this is a uh, equation of tangent to this parabola having slope m uh, we can write this way we can add this equation in the this form m square multiply by x plus 5 okay minus uh, y m plus 5 is equal to 0 this is equation number 1 okay in fact uh, uh, in this equation we put uh, x is equal to h and y is equal to k we get uh, h plus 5 m square minus km plus 5 is equal to 0. Say so this is equation number 1. Okay. Now uh, from point P tangent to this parabola is perpendicular to uh, this tangent. Okay. Slope of this line is uh, m. Suppose slope of uh, tangent to uh, this parabola is uh, m1. Okay, where uh, m into m1 is equal to minus 1 because tangents are perpendicular. Now, equation of tangent to this parabola having slope m1 will be, equation of tangent will be y is equal to m1 multiplied by x plus 15 uh, plus a upon m1. Value of a is uh, 15. So, we have here 15 over m1. But m1 is minus 1 over m, okay. So, equation will be y is equal to minus 1 over m into x plus 15 minus uh, 15m, okay. Now, we multiply both sides by m, collect all the terms on one side and replace x with h and y with k. We get one more equation in h and k that is equation will be uh, 15m square 15m square plus uh, km plus h plus 15 is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 okay now for the equation of locus we have to get relation between h and k 
here we have two equations in h and k involving variable m we have two quadratic equations in variable m so what do we do we will eliminate variable m okay now we have done this in quadratic equations theory of equations in uh, concept of uh, one common root between two quadratic to eliminate m we use here cross product method that is uh, uh, square of bigger cross is equal to product of two smaller crosses which is that bigger cross it is this h plus 5 into h plus 15 minus 15 multiplied by 5 okay so we have here h plus 5 into h plus 15 minus uh, uh, 15 multiplied by 5 this is bigger cross we have square of bigger cross is equal to product of two smaller crosses which will be uh, those two smaller crosses smaller crosses will be uh, this and this okay uh, this smaller cross will be uh, h plus uh, uh, 5 multiply by k uh, plus uh, uh, 15k okay and this smaller cross will be minus k into h plus 15 minus 5k okay now we simplify this uh, we will have uh, h square plus uh, uh, 20h okay 15 into 5 gets cancelled out we have we will have h square plus 20h square of this is equal to this will be uh, hk plus 20k hk plus 20k and this will be minus hk minus 20k okay now from this factor uh, we can take k common and from this factor we can take minus k common okay and uh, from here we can take h common so uh, we get we have little space okay we get uh, uh, h square into h plus 20 whole square is equal to minus k square multiplied by h plus 20 whole square okay uh, this equation will be satisfied only if value of h plus 20 will be 0 okay so we get x plus 20 is equal to 0 this is the equation of required locus locus of point p will be x plus 20 is equal to 0 okay okay